Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Dominique. Today I'm going to do a bit of a bathroom cupboard organisation. I have a cupboard that we store all our things in for the bathroom, like towels and um, toothpastes and all the accessories. I guess I'm going to do uh, like a little bit of a revamp on this cupboard today. I've got some um, like a adhesive I want to stick on there and make it neat and tidy and I'm just going to sort of declutter it all and clean it out and um, yeah, just fix the mess that we've got in there at the moment and sort out some more things. I've got a few organizational drawers I want to put into the cupboard as well. I hope you enjoy this video today and let's get into the bathroom organization. So basically we've just got like a, a cupboard here where we store all our um, toothpastes and our powders and our towels and our toilet paper and our face washes, tissues, everything sort of goes in here. Um, I'm just gonna gonna sort this out because I've bought these which you would have seen in one of my hauls so long ago so I'm finally gonna clean this out and get things out of like these sort of containers now because they you just can't find out what's in them and I've got like face washes in there which I prefer to put into these little drawers so I can just um, so I can see what's in there and the kids can just pull them out and you know um, easily see what they need to grab I'm going to get into this now. I'll pop some music on while I'm going. But firstly, I did buy some of this, which is a self-adhesive vinyl. I got this from Bunnings. It's quite nice. It's actually like a marble effect, if you can see that. So I'm going to try and do the, the shelves with it. I'm not very good with contact and never have been. So I'm not very good at contacting books or anything. I have used... A vinyl from Bunnings before to put into one of my big wooden cupboards and I covered the drawers with it and it was really nice inside so I'm gonna try this again we'll see how it goes it's called a white marble I think it was around about five dollars six dollars or something like that for a roll so I just grabbed two of them I've had them for so long I was gonna do the kitchen drawers with them but I'm gonna try this one I would really like to do like the back because it's just so just needs a little bit of loving there so I'm gonna see how it go I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it because there's like a like a divider on the wall of the shelf so I'm gonna try and cover that part there see how I go but I can't really cover up these sections here because we might need to change the um, shelving at some stage so unless my husband will just pierce it through the contact which you can do that too but Let's see how I go with it and hopefully it'll look a bit better than it does now. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a clean now with some a method anti-back. This one's really nice, it's a water mint one. I've used the foaming one before and it's really good as well. But I just got this one. This one is an anti-back. I think the foaming one. I'm not sure if the foaming one is an anti-back, but I got this one. It can be a little bit strong, but it has got like a really nice um, after smell. So I'm just going to just give that a little bit of a hit in here and just try and clean it a little bit because it's just, you know, got a little bit of fingerprints and things like that. So basically what I'm going to put up the top here is our um, first aid kits and things like that. They're going to go up the top because that's where I don't want the kids touching. Like I don't really want the kids going into the first aid box and being able to reach it. So I'm just going to put all that up the top there. And I've also got like some, you know, my lant tablets and things like that, which are going to go up the top as well. So I don't have a lot of space behind me to work at the moment. I've like that's why it's just sort of I don't have a very big bench top. So I'm just going to just try and get as much of this out. I'm going to I'm going to get all of it out of here and try and work with this contact and see how it goes. It may not work out. I'm praying up in the garbage bin. It's possible. <laughs> Okay, 
I'm just going to empty that to that stage. Down the bottom over under here is just like towels and toilet paper. I'm just going to work with this at the moment and cut up this, see how I go with it. The bottom, like the actual um, shelves themselves aren't dirty or clean and there is going to be products on them. It's just more of the background here. I probably am not going to do the side shelves. I'm just going to do the back one and I'll see how I go with that. It may look a little bit messy, but like I said, there is going to be products put up against there. So it shouldn't look too bad. So let's see. I probably should have done that from the beginning. So probably what I'm going to end up doing is just starting from the top and just keep on adding it together all through the back of the wall. I forgot I could take the shelves out. So I'm hoping that I can take all of them out. Put it all the way down the back. The backing, take all, the, take all them out and just do it that way. So you may see there may be a joining line where it doesn't meet up, but that's the best way to do it. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> I guess I'm lucky it's marble, like a marble backing, because it, you can't really see too many of the wrinkles in it. I could get my husband to sort of run a Stanley knife down here to make it neater. I'm not going to do that because I'll probably end up cutting it, cutting through the cupboard. But yeah, it's looking okay so far and I'm pretty happy with it. It's not too bad actually, you can't really see. It's going see a bit of a double effect there on the wall, but you know, that's okay. It's going to have um, shelves up there, so that's pretty much where I'm at at the moment. I'm pretty happy with that. It looks okay. It looks better than what it looked like before. It makes a big difference for like about $10 or something for two rolls, or I haven't used two rolls. I've used, I've used one complete roll now just on that. Yeah, I'm just going to continue going all the way down here and after I do that we'll start on the modular organizers and you know putting the shelves back in and trying to organize where I'm going to put everything. I'm just going to take all these towels out now and pop them in a basket or something which I've got under here.
so I've nearly got there. I've made a little bit of a mishap here and I'm going to have to join you again down there. But I'm going to, I should wait for my husband to do this, but I'm going to get like a pair of scissors and just run it down the side here to try and make it um, neater. He would probably use a Stanley knife, but we're going to try it with these scissors. Sort of work there. I've just trimmed it a bit there. The scissors are. This is like um, a sewing shears, sewing scissors. So I'm going to do the other side as well. A little bit, just to tidy it up. And I'm going to try and do the top bit here with it. So as you can see, it's a little bit off there. And I'm just going to get my scissors and cut down that part as well. So here, this is the bottom part of the cupboard now. I just have to trim it off here where I've joined it a bit. And it's going to be difficult because I can't get in there with the scissors. If I open up the scissors, it's not going to really work. That's what a sand Stanley knife would be good for. So I'm just going to try just start it up a bit like that. And then just try and cut it. So I am done with the backing of it, finally, it has taken me a while. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like now. So I think it looks so much better, doesn't it? I just, I've got very limited space to move back. I'm basically nearly in the sink here. It's not very wide, a bathroom. So, and especially, well, I've got to be covered in here too. So I basically can't move back any more than that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put all the shelves back in and we're going to undo these and start stacking them. I haven't got any sort of, oh actually I do, I have got labels, bathroom labels which I'm going to put onto those um, drawers as well at some stage. Okay, let's get into it. So firstly, what I want to do is the top part of this cupboard up here. I'm going to put all the first aid things and they're going to go up the top there. I've sort of got a little bit of space here if I wanted to put something in there. I might put like some bottles up there, something like that. But the kids don't need to be into that sort of thing at all. I can reach that and get that if they need something out of there. And the first aid kit's got, you know, all the Panadols and things in there as well. So, all right, so let's finally get into these drawers and see what they're like. So I'm going to use one of them for a band-aid drawer, I think, and um, tissues and things like that in there. I think I'm just going to leave this little book. This is what the band-aids have been in, but I think I'm just going to leave that in the container so it doesn't move around. It just sort of fits in there perfectly, as you can see. So I'm just going to do that, otherwise I'll just spill everywhere.
first I was thinking I was going to need some slip mats underneath these, but silly me, <laughs> they're fine once you put weight in them, so that's really good. Okay, so what I'm going to, I'm going to do now is I've got a heap of face washes. I'm not going to have room for my makeup, but I'm definitely going to get another two because they fit up perfectly if I put like three on top of each other. So if I get another two and I can store my makeup in them, but there's just not going to be enough room today because I've got the toothbrushes to put in one with the um, toothpaste and I want to put the face washes in one as well. So I'll do that now. So that's all the towels I've got at the moment because I've got them in the washing machine. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to leave it and just pack it all the way up to the top. But I have got a lot of hand towels that I'm going to need to put in. But at the moment, I'm pretty happy with what I've got. Um, down here, I have a lot of room still. Down here, which is probably where I'm going to put like maybe the sunscreens and uh, the extra hand um, soaps that I've got just down here I've still got heaps of room so I'm possibly just going to put so I've got these sort of things here and I'm probably just going to put them down low so then I can reach them if I need them I'm pretty happy with what I've done so far so I'll show you what it looks like now when I open up these doors it's actually so much better than what it was okay so there you go as you can see there it's so much cleaner we've got our, our tissue boxes and our medical boxes up there and these drawers I'm really, really happy with. We've got like our band-aids and tissues and I've got some like Dettol antiseptic spray so I know where to grab when the kids fall over. I like to have that, you know, in my reach at all times, um, especially with two boys. I've got all my soaps in here and razors and um, some of my hair shampoos and things like that and, um, you know, my husband's clipping things. They're all in there. And I've also got the face washes, which are going in here. I'm going to probably remove the hand towels out of there and put them somewhere else or get rid of a few and use them as rags because they are getting quite old. And toothbrushes and toothpaste will go in here. And um, yeah, I've just got a lot of hair products here. I love this cup. My son bought me this, I think, when he was in prep. And I chipped it and I've always used it just for the kids' brushes. And I've just got all my hair products and the kids' um, styling things behind there. There's some baby powder. So just so that's sort of in arm's reach at all times. So I can do the hair in the mornings. And I've got my towels down here and that will just keep on stacking up. I don't have a great deal of towels, so that'll probably just go straight up to the top of that shelf there. And that'll fit in nicely. And if that doesn't work, I may even put the hand towels on them, but I, I won't need another shelf. That's sufficient. And then down the bottom here, as you can see, the backing's quite nice still. You can't see um, the mistakes and joins that I've made, but it just makes it look a little bit better. It's not supposed to be professional. And I've just got the toilet paper in here. And down the bottom here is just where I'll put like our excess 
hand washing things, soaps, so hand washing soaps, our sunscreens. I've got some, you know, micellar cleansing water there, some mousse, whatever I like the leftover things there. If I've got some big shampoos, I'm going to put them under here. I don't really want to put them under the sink. I'd rather put them in here. And if I have visitors, it's just a lot easier for them to sort of reach for things if they need them as well, because they can see what they've got, what I've got in the cupboard there. So that's all today. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you a little bit of inspiration to maybe um, fix an old cupboard that you've got in your house. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with that wallpaper adhesive at the back there. Got it from Bunnings. I think it was about $5 something a roll and it did work. And it was easy to, it was quite pliable and easy to use. I did have to pull it back a few times because I put bubbles in it, but I was really, really happy with it. Okay, sorry everyone. It's the next day now. And I only realized last night when I was starting to edit this video that I forgotten to put the bathroom labels on. It took me a little while to find them. I had them hidden in a drawer somewhere so I bought these when I got these and uh, yeah they're pretty good if you haven't seen them um yeah they've got they've sort of covered everything here for the bathroom sorry that's my dog behind me you can hear panting he's a bit hot today um okay so I've got the you know it, it covers soaps it's got towels it's got body lotion so what I'm going to need here is I'm um, face wash I don't have one that says face washes on it I don't think um, I might just put that I do there's actually one that says face washes on there and hand towels. That's really good Okay, so I'm gonna pop that one in in that one on the hand towels one I need a toothpaste one and toothbrush like we've got oral and dental so I can put that one on there As well, so I'm just gonna go ahead now and pop these labels on so good. They're so handy There's even even one for like brushes if you've got like things in drawers wipes nails Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them on and see what they look like. 